lest we understand the cross. And we will never, um, we will, this is why the doctrines go together. We will never understand the purpose of the cross if we do not understand the nature of man. And we don't under, that's why we have to do um, a martyrology, the doctrine of sin. That's why we have to, that's why we have to teach on the doctrine of man, anthropology. Because unless we understand the nature of man, unless we understand what sin is, we will never understand what salvation is. You know, we've got people today that are going to the altar getting saved, don't even know what, don't even know they were sinner. They just go up there and they've, they've never heard the cross teach. They've never, there's not, they've, the cross has not been presented. The reason for the death, the reason for the death of Jesus, the death and resurrection of Jesus is not taught. But they get people to the altar and say, follow me in the sinner's prayer. And then turn, and then turn their saints. Okay, um, Colossians one twenty. And having made peace for the blood of, the, of his cross, to him, to reconcile all things to himself. But in our say, whether they are things on earth or things in heaven. And one of the things that we learn, that I just love the teaching of the cross. One person got a bit upset with me one time and said to me, you teach a slaughterhouse religion. Because you're talking about the blood and shed blood and all that, you teach a slaughterhouse religion. I said, you're right, I believe in a slaughterhouse religion. Because my Bible says that as he was led as a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before his shears is done, so he opened not his mouth. I believe in a slaughterhouse religion. Because without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sin. And uh, as one songwriter said, we must need to go home by the way of the cross. There's no other way to go. That's the only way is to be saved by the bladder. So, anyway, any any questions?